Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I wanna show you this move 3D showreel effect. So first of all open the effects tab. Then again go to effects and drag and drop a fusion composition into the timeline. Then go with this fusion composition into fusion. Okay, now open the media pool and drag some of your videos into the node field. Now delete the merge nodes. Now I just want to rename the videos for better organization. Okay, that's done. Okay, now go back into the edit page. Then increase the size of your fusion composition. And go back into fusion. Now I want to inspect the first clip, so I press this button. And as you can see, the clip starts a little bit later. So I just want to change this and I press shift and space by the same time. Search for time speed. Select time speed and press add. Then I just change the delay a little bit. Then I want to inspect this step, so I click this button. And now you can see the clip starts a little bit earlier. Okay, again press shift and space by the same time. And search for blur. Select blur and press add. After that drag and drop a transform node into the node field and connect the blur node with the transform node. Okay, now select the transform node and press shift and spacebar. Search for shadow. Select shadow and press add. Then again press shift and space by the same time and search for soft glow. Select soft glow and press add. And again press shift and space by the same time and search for camera shake. Select camera shake and press add. Then just drag and drop this image plane 3D node into the node field and connect the camera shake node with the image plane 3D node and add a merge 3D node into the node field. Now connect these two nodes. Okay, and now copy and paste these nodes by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V and drag them to the left. Now connect the second video with the nodes and connect the image plane 3D node with the merge 3D node. And repeat this for the other videos. Alright, now it should look like this. Then drag and drop a camera 3D into the node field. And connect the camera 3D node with the merge 3D node. Then again create a new merge 3D node. And press shift and space by the same time and search for point light. Select point light and press add. Ok, now add a renderer 3D node. And connect this node with the media out node. Now I want to inspect the first merge 3D node. And as you can see we got a camera, we got some video clips and you can rotate in the 3D room by pressing alt and the middle mouse button at the same time. And you can move up and down by scrolling with the mouse wheel. And you can zoom in and out by pressing ctrl and by scrolling with the mouse wheel. And only by pressing the middle mouse button you can move like this. So for now I just want to change the position of my videos. So I go into the node field and I select the first image plane 3D node. Then go into the inspector and open transform. And here you can play around with the translation values until you are satisfied. So I just decrease the C value and I change the X value. Now change the rotation Y value to about minus 50. Alright and now I go to the second image plane 3D node. And again I go to transform and I change the translation values. In addition to that I increase the rotation Y value. And I do the same with the other two video clips. So now it should look like this. Then go to your first camera shake node and decrease the X and Y deviation. Also decrease the rotation deviation and the strength. And of course the speed. So these values should be fine. Also change these values for the other camera shake nodes. Okay, now all camera shake nodes look like this. Then go to your transform nodes. Now change the size to 0 0.8. Also repeat this for the other transform nodes. After you've done this for every transform node, go to your first shadow node and increase the softness to about 0 0.05. Again repeat this for the other shadow nodes. So now it should look like this. And now you can change the shadow color to your liking. So in my case the background will be black. So my shadows should be white. So I go to the first shadow node and I change the shadow color to white. Okay, now it looks like this. Alright, and now I want to change the soft glow of every clip. So go into the node field and select the soft glow node. After that you can increase the glow size to about 18 or 19. Now I will do the same with the other soft glow nodes. Okay, and now I want to change the camera movement so that it flies through the video clips. 
So I select my camera 3D node. Then I go to the beginning of my fusion composition and I open the transform tab. I create a keyframe at the translation C value and now I go to frame 1000 and then I decrease the C value. And as you can see, now the camera is behind of our last clip. And if you want, you can also change the camera position a little bit. So now we can see the animation looks like this. Okay, and now I want that the camera moves towards the nearest video in the area. So in this case, the camera should move to the right because the nearest video is the right video. So I go to this frame where the animation should start. So in my case, I want to start at frame 94. So I go into the inspector and I go to rotation. Now create a keyframe at the Y rotation value and go some frames to the right and change the Y position so that you see the first video. Alright, now it looks like this. And then I search for the second starting point. So, so I guess at frame 300 there's the second starting point for me. So again I create a keyframe at the Y rotation value and I go some frames to the right. And I change the Y rotation value so that I see the second video. Okay, now it looks like this. Okay, and now I will do the same for the other two video clips. Also, at the end I create a keyframe. And I go like 200 frames to the right. And I change the Y rotation value to zero. Okay, and if you are done with this, open the spline tab. So here in the spline tab, we should see our animations. So I just want to unselect the C offset animation and now I select like every single keyframe and I press Alt and S at the same time to smooth out the animation. Alright, now we need to change the movement of the image plane nodes. So select your first image plane 3D node and go to transform. Then go to the frames where the animation of your camera starts. So in my case it was about 90 or 100 and create a keyframe at the Y rotation value. Now go to a frame in which you are very close to the first video. So this frame is nice because the second animation of the camera begins. And I decrease the Y value to about 60. And now as you can see the first video is moving. Then I select my second image plane node and I look for a nice frame to start my animation. Then again go to transform and create a keyframe at the Y rotation value. Okay, then go to the last frames in which you see your second clip and increase the Y value to about 60 or 70. And again, do the same for the other two clips. Okay, and now it should look like this. Alright, now we can experiment with the blur nodes. So I select the first blur node and I go to the last frames of my first clip. And I create a keyframe at the blur size. Then I go to this frame in which I won't see the first clip anymore. And I increase the blur size a little bit. And as you can see at the end of the first clip animation, the first clip is out of focus. And now I go to the blur node for my second video. And I go to the first frame. And here at frame 0 I increase the blur size to about 10 or 11. After I have done this, I go to this frame in which I will see the second video for the first time. So around these frames I will see the second video at the first time. So I go like 20 to 30 frames backwards. I create a keyframe at the blur size and I go like 20 to 30 frames to the right so I can see the second video. Then I just decrease the blur size to zero. And I only change the blur so that the viewer is only focused on one video. So at the end of the second video clip I create a keyframe at the blur size and I go to the last frame in which I will see my second video clip and I increase the blur size to about 10 or 11. And I will do the same with the third and the fourth clip. Okay, now the animation looks like this. Okay, after you've done all of that, go to the point light node. Inspect the point light by pressing the left view button on the merge 2 node. And when you zoom out, you should see this point light. 
So the point light exists in our scene, but you can't see it right now. And that's because lighting and shadows on the renderer 3D node aren't enabled, so enable these. Alright, as you can see the point light node is activated now. So go back to point light and go to transform. Then go to the first frame of your fusion composition. Then go back to controls, change the decay type to linear and decrease the decay rate to about 0.5. Okay, now go to transform and as you can see the point light is very bright. So in the beginning of my fusion composition I want to highlight the first video. So I go some frames to the right till the end of the first clip and I create a keyframe at a translation C value. Then I go 20 to 30 frames to the right. And I create a keyframe at the translation X, Y and Z value. Then I go 20 to 30 frames to the right. And I change the X, Y and Z values so that the second video is highlighted. And as you can see, now the lighting looks like this. And again, at the end of the second clip, I create some keyframes at the X, Y and Z values. And I go some frames forwards. And I change the translation C and X value. And I repeat this procedure for the last clip. And at the end of the last clip, I also create some keyframes. And I change the lighting. Alright, now I drag and drop a background symbol into the node field. And I press shift and space by the same time and I search for image plane 3D. Select image plane 3D and press add. Then again connect this image plane 3D node with the merge 3D one node. Go to transform and set the scale to about 20. Then decrease the C translation value. And now your composition looks like this. So if you want you can also play around with the background C value. And I guess that's it for this video. I hope this video has helped you. If so, then leave a like or sub to my channel. Go check the first link in the description to get some nice effects and transitions. And thanks to all channel members, thanks for the support, stay creative and bye.